Hello, this is Palika Badge, and welcome back to another bloody episode of the Curious Expedition. I'm still reeling a little from the last ex uh, ex expedition, the last episode with um, uh, Monsieur uh, uh, Courtney, Fred, Freddy. Um, I'm recording straight after, and I'm, I'm just a little embittered. I, I, I felt like I had an awesome first expedition, and I paid for it in the second. That, that's how it felt to me. It was just like, by all means, go explore. But the longer you spend out here, the more we're going to kick your ass. The the Trek members turned against me, and and the dice weren't rolling in my favour, and I killed Snarf Rattle, and I just couldn't get back to hand that in. I'm, I'm a bit gutted by that, because I've always avoided him up to that point, and then I, I just went one animal too far, and that was it. Just boom, over, done with. Not good, not good. But on the plus side, it does mean we get to start a new explore today. So who will it be? Well, obviously the next one in line, which will be Freya Stark, daring travel writer and discoverer of the fabled valleys of the assassins. Oh, now that sounds scary. Now, her perk is she is a desert explorer, can always travel to a desert region. Uh, so no uh, problems with that. What was the word I was looking for then? No, no uh, penalties, yes, for traveling uh, to the desert region, which is awesome. Um, oh, can always travel to a desert region. So I guess that means on every expedition we can go to the desert, which, again, is interesting. <laughs> we have a camel, a stoic camel. Can carry many additional crates. Doesn't show you how many, though, so, hmm. Uh, we also have uh, a Bedouin. Is that, you, is that how you say it? A Bedouin? Bedouin? Uh, a Bedouin warrior who knows the desert like nobody else reveals nearby oases. Is, 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 is. And that, I would say, is a specialist character. I have never seen one of those before. And then we have a cook. Well, we know all about the cooks. They make rubbish food until you upgrade them completely, by which point, what's the point? <sighs> and then we have some whiskey. A bottle of aged whiskey. Single malt, obviously. Used to refill some sanity. Now, here's an interesting thing for you. Maybe. If you're into this sort of thing. When I went to Dublin, uh, we went to the Jameson's factory, which is uh, uh, a, a triple malt whiskey. Uh, and uh, generally, or should I say triple distilled. So, um, Now, Scottish whiskey is double distilled. And American whiskey, like Jack Daniels, is singly distilled. And that's why generally and again not again well i am against jack daniels i'm not a big fan of it but um the the, the more it's distilled the more smooth it becomes and therefore the as far as i'm concerned the nicer it is jd's okay if you want to put it with some coke but if you just want to sit there for a couple of rocks in there jameson's tip top give it a go if you get the chance jameson's whiskey very nice very nice plus bonus when we went my girlfriend isn't a whiskey drinker, so in the samples I ended up having hers as well. Tip top, tip top. Anyway, Freya Stark. <coughs> Sorry, making myself smile. Uh, and then we have the the, uh, the Coston flare. Uh, this device was invented by a Martha J. Coston, originally intended to be used for signalling at sea. It can also be helpful in revealing nearby areas. Be careful with flammable materials. And then we have the normal ropes. We have a hunting rifle, which we know about from last time, because we had one. And some shovels, again. Shovels are good if you've got a map. If you haven't, yeah, yeah. But anyway, before we crack on, what do we know about Freya Stark? Well, Freya Stark, DBE. That's her official title, DBE. She was a dame of the British Empire. Now, I'm English, and I'm, I'm used to these... Uh, these titles given out to, to people uh, throughout their lives. Um, I've heard of an OBE, which is an officer. I've heard of an MBE, which is a, a member. And I've heard of a CBE, which is a... Com what's a CBE? Commander? I think it's Commander. Never heard of a DBE before. But that supposedly made her a Dane, as opposed to being proper damed these days which is like the opposite of an well, not the opposite it's like the equivalent of a knighthood for a lady a damehood but yeah damehood that sounds good we'll go with damehood but yeah she was a british explorer and travel writer she mainly uh traveled around the middle east and she was uh by uh, the early 1930s uh, she did three treks into western iran 
which no other Westerner had uh, visited up to that point. So that was her big claim to fame. She wrote a load of books on this. Uh, she was um, born in 1893 and she died, get this, she died in 1993. She was 100 years old. How about that for a, a good life, a good full, full life? Couldn't have asked for much more. When she, when she got up there to St. Pete, I'm pretty sure she went, look, oh, man, I'm done. 100 years, that's it. Century, boom. Chalk me up on that scoreboard near the top. I'm done. Let me in. <laughs> uh, she helped Tom out that she helped out in both world wars in the first one she was part of the voluntary aid detachment which is basically just like uh, the red cross so she was out there just helping people out uh, by world war ii because she she was renowned for helping out in the middle east or helping out in the middle east uh, from uh, exploring the middle east she was actually employed by the ministry of information to uh, release propaganda films uh, to help the british army recruit the, Ara uh, the uh, Arabians or Arabs, should I say, uh, to recruit the Arabs, or at least to, to make it uh, make sure that they were a neutral party within the war, because if they're not going to fight for you, you don't really want them fighting against you. So as long as they kept out of the way in their tents, that's fine. That's fine. So yeah, that was World War Two, and uh, the weird thing about her, I say weird. I, I, I like to find something a little bit perky on, on all, all my uh, all my characters here. Uh, at age thirteen. She was in an accident in a factory in Italy where her hair got caught in a machine. It doesn't say what machine, but because of this, she had to have four months of skin grafts. So it must have been pretty intense. I, I'm thinking if her hair got caught and she had to have skin grafts, it's more like her hair got like she almost scalped herself. That's what I, that's the sort of thing I'm I'm imagining, and uh, it left her with a disfigured face. So um, yeah. Probably why she went to the Middle East, because you get to wear those headscarves so you don't get to see your hair. So, but there you go. That, that, that is just a, a theory on my behalf. Don't, <laughs> don't take that as gospel. But anyway, let's crack on. We've been jibber-jabbering for quite a while now. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honour the expeditions of our most famous member? Word is it that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I am afraid to tell you that you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. And we have Richard F. Burton, Dion Fortune, Amelia Earhart and Harriet Tubman. Now go explore! Adventure awaits! Expedition. Boom. And because we have this perk, we can go to the deadly jungle. But why would we go to the deadly jungle when we can go to the mysterious desert? In Africa. Ah. So, mysterious desert it is. Something different. After being too excited to sleep, I stored my equipment on the sheep. <laughs> Meh. Not on the sheep. On the ship. The captain had let, let the captain had yet to arrive, so I spent my time on the deck enjoying the cool breeze. Brother Cornelius approached me this morning. He had come to these lands and begged us to take him to a nearby native village in order to spread the word about God. Or of God. Very Cross that mercy, but here Zogby. Uh, yeah, we'll accept you. We'll accept you. I accepted since I would gladly do my part to help spread the word of God. Just in time, our ship was prepared to head for distant shores. In the darkness, I will shine a light, because I light my farts. Brother Cornelius. Uh, so yeah, ex extra maximum sanity. That's not too shabby. Then we have Bahia Zogby or Zogby Zogby. We'll go for Zogby. Uh, we have Moi. Freya Stark, who's actually got some good dice. And then we have oh, Mr. Brent and Etienne Le Messier, the cook. Actually, Mr. Brent is awesome. He holds four. Wow. You, actually, you might be right on this. Let's go. So, Expedition 1. Not a lot to explain here. You know how this works. We just get a feel of the character. An event occurred. A new adventure awaits. Ooh, that's new in the corner down here. Did you see that? Did you see that? Don't know what that means, but there we go. I was deeply observed. I'm just not reading again, am I? I'm, I'm just making up my own script. Why don't I do that next time? I was deeply absorbed in my studies about this area as we finally reached the shore of our expedition area. I was curious to find what adventures were waiting for us here. Hmm. I presume we're still going to need water. So well, let's 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 take the water. 
I made sure to pack some extra water rations from the ship's provisions. I knew that a prepared trek was absolutely essential for a successful expedition. However, I could not shake off the feeling that the captain wanted me to leave for some reason. Go! We need the captain, don't we? Or have his little head popping out just going, bugger off! That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, let's crack on. Brother Cornelius had pinpointed the location of the village he wanted to visit on our map. Where are you? Ah, lovely. Very close. Uh, right, well, let's go there first, I guess. We carefully approached an unknown native village. Today we reached the camp of a nomadic tribe. The air was filled with a delicious scent. The villagers kindly waved us over and offered us some of their freshly cooked food. Oh, that's very nice of you. You must be very cautious. That's only because you're jealous because you burn all hours. Let's take the food. Close. The villagers observed us with caution. They were kind and offered to help our course. Right, let's... Because they're new to us at the moment, right? So let's deliver the missionary. Because everyone lo loves a missionary. We accompanied the missionary to the village chief. The elderly man was a compulsive talker and told us about the best sites to see in the vicinity, including a holy shrine, which he marked on our map. Our time with the natives was a delight. They remained friendly and offered us more help. Does that mean you, you like us now? Hooray! Okay. Um, let's recruit. I talked to the villagers to find out if some locals were willing to seek fame and glory. A few moments later, I had assembled some volunteers and had to decide for a new recruit. Ooh. So we have Dia al-Din Essa, the Bedouin, uh, who we already kind of have. But here is Ogby. Uh, exactly the same dice. Exactly the same capacity. Uh, except he's a, he's a horrible racist, so that's not good. Uh, we have a camel. Camel's war is autumn. What's his name? Can't can't tell. This one? No. And we have Futun Kori, the Bedouin. Uh, once again, same as before. Hmm. I think we should go for a camel. Because our capacity, our carrying capacity will be nuts. So let's have a let's have a second camel. The natives were so kind to hand us a stoic looking camel. We called him Sir Bone. Da, da, what was the name of the other camel? Mr. Teague. And so, but okay, fine. Our time with the natives was a delight. They remained friendly and offered us more help. Okay, well, let's see what you got now. Um, well, we don't need the meat. And we don't need the shovels. And we don't need the costume flares. Now, how many for your ivory? Oh, that's, that's a good deal. Okay, in which case, um, can I have all your torches? I can. How much are the teeth worth? Wow, you like your teeth. Okay, so let's let's take all the torches and we'll take some berries as well. Why not? That's that's a good uh, that's a good deal. I think. Is it? Yeah, yeah, that's a good deal. I settled on a deal with the natives. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. We packed up the trek and departed as new adventures awaited us. Yeah. Where's the shrine? Okay, fine. Looks like we're on our own on this one. Um, let us uh, travel on to the... Yeah, let's travel on to the, onto the hill. There's not a lot in this region at all. Yeah, not a lot at all. Okay, right, so uh, I guess we're cracking on, so let's go south. There's no way of avoiding using one of those. And approach the trader. A wandering tradesman had set up camp here. The colourfully dressed trader had a lot of valuable goods on offer. All of them had undoubtedly been used before, probably during other unsuccessful expeditions. He seemed to be fond of us and presented us rare wares that he had hidden under a dark blanket. Ah. Ah, right, well, hmm, I would have, they're all going to be the same, I've learned that lesson, but uh, I don't have any shovels, and you don't have any shovels to sell me, so, uh, no, no, not good. The traders seem to expect to see us again, as customers or the next failed expedition to free of their worldly possessions. Hmm, so we can go straight down without using any more water, which is good, and we have a stone idol. I examined the strange overgrown stone statue. Its cold eyes seemed to stare at us. It was a disconcerting sight and I desired to move on. 
I noticed some items by the statue. They must have been put there by the natives of this region, presumably in an attempt to appease the gods. The gods! Okay, uh, what do we have? Mangoes, torches, and masks. Oh my, we shall take it all. Uh, we took what was useful to us, which is everything. It is always everything, and it will forever be everything. Good. Right, let's eat the mangoes first. That's that freed up. And we might as well eat the berries as well. They're not worth a lot, which means we should be able to get to this question mark over here. Um, I'm thinking we're probably going to have to go northwards to find the... Uh... Oh, we got an oasis. Hang on. Aren't you, as standard, supposed to find... Yeah, the oasis is. Oasis is? Oasis is. Yeah, Oasis is. Okay. Um, right, well, let's go into the cave. We've got some uh, torches. We approached a cave. The entrance seemed to lead deep into the mountain. We required a torch to explore its secrets. Uh, let's have a look. Um, we lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We stumbled into a dead end. It seemed to be used by the natives of this region as some kind of ceremonial tomb. Inside it were mummified corpses. Ooh, what do you have for me? Many of the mummies were falling apart and so could not be of any value. However, after a thorough investigation, our search was successful. We just take what we need. And we need... Oh, just the one mummy. Yep, that'll do. Alright, so we've got the oasis. We can't... Well, we could possibly get to the oasis. We won't know until we get around here and have a look. Uh, we're not going to upgrade anyone yet either. Please go away. Oh, dear. Well, it's just the one. But I am kind of hesitant after we've just had our asses handed to us in the last expedition so we're going to flee run away run away we stood no chance and had to escape i found that in our heading heading retreat we had lost some of our inventory we've lost our mummy oh my god well, okay well he's going to be asleep now anyway so let's drink these two bits of whiskey oh 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 there's the pyramid okay okay well, 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 well. There's not a lot we can do. Uh, and I've just suddenly remembered that I can stack up on water to 20. So that was, uh, that was a bit of a misclick on my behalf. Uh, right, we better just end this here, I think. That is probably for the best. So please be okay. We're good, we're good. There was the Golden Pyramid, enthroned above the landscape. Overcoming all the obstacles, we had yet survived. It is a strange life, but I never yearn after civilization. Well, bit of a loner, are you? That would explain both camels, Mr. Brent and Mr. T. You've just changed your name again. Weren't you Mr. Bone before? Hmm, I need to keep an eye on you, I think. Strange camel. Okay. After weeks of travelling, great joy overcame me. I knew that this name, Freya Stark, would be forever remembered. Leave the horror behind! Okay. So, we finished first, I presume, seeing that that was a very, very quick episode. Golden Pyramid, Speed Bonus, and we're just going to have to sell everything. Okay. I can smell the alcohol from here. Alright, so, marry me is... Oh, is that, is that a lady? Cheers! Oh, I was talking to the guy. Bravo! Okay, right. So we have good reputation. Start each expedition with a standing bonus. That's pretty cool. We have Desert Explorer. Reduce movement costs in deserts. That's very useful. And we have Climber. Reduce movement costs from crossing hills. Right. I'm going to take Desert Explorer because I'm, I'm planning with this character of using the uniqueness of it, which is deserts. So Desert Explorer it is. Huzzah! Huzzah! Okay, so we're second. Yeah, that's okay. No problems there. I need to sell everything. So we sell that, and we sell that. And that gives us, what, 110? Not a lot of money. Not a lot of money. But, you know, we do what we can. We do what we can. As long as we buy enough food to crack on in, in the next desert region, the untouched desert, then we should be okay. There's no portals anywhere, is there? Oh, there's a portal there. We'll come. We'll come back to that theory on the next on the next expedition on the next uh, character. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.